I knew that uh, Dallas was on hard times. Uh, the buildings were half finished around town, the banks were going broke, uh, and I certainly were aware uh, financially real quick that the Dallas Cowboys were losing a lot of money. Uh, they did not have a plan, a business plan that would work. And um, I also was keenly aware that the NFL itself was in a slump. Uh, the, the television agreements, the negotiation on the key thing, the television rights fees, those dollar amounts had been flat for three negotiation, which was a period of seven to eight or nine years. Mm -hmm. And so it was not in any way something that if I showed you what I bought and what I extended myself to go get, that I would be proud to show you my business judgment. I was aware that I'd been real fortunate to get where I'd gotten. Uh, I frankly am not that smart. And so the bottom line is, I knew the happen chance of me getting in a spot to have the money to do what I did. On the other hand, uh, I just knew that uh, it's, uh, it was the passion of my life. It's something that I had dreamed of. Uh, I had a uh, George Foreman, the great heavyweight champion, said that you don't wait until you climb through the ropes to have the picture of you with that championship belt on. Right. You've got to have seen that hundreds of times so that by the time you get there, there's no hesitation. Well, I had seen myself a lot of times involved in pro football, uh, certainly not necessarily at that way, the Cowboys, but boy, when I started looking at the Cowboys, and I knew if I didn't grab that train, I don't care if it was as the caboose went by, right. if I didn't grab it and grab it quick, I was going to lose an opportunity that I'd regret for the rest of my life. My dad had had about 25 years of seeing me uh, kind of take a, take a dream and make one in one three rather than two. Yeah. But on the other hand, he really didn't understand, and I hadn't shared it with him, the kind of money that we were talking about here, the amount of money. I knew he would tell me that I was crazy, number one. Number two, uh, he would have been really taken back by how much that I had or was going to require. Uh, I didn't share that with him. I, he knew that I had done well but I didn't sit down with him and go over my financial statement. I, I was very proud of, and he was proud of what he had done, and I didn't want to take away from that. I have to say, our, uh, those experiences that we had uh, from a team standpoint, those experiences that we had in those early years, going from when uh, we really were criticized so much for making the change with Coach Landry. Uh, and basically, uh, many people thought we had just torn up the, the franchise, the legacy of the franchise, the legacy of Coach Landry. I regretted that. But to take that and in a, almost a very short time, go from that point to having win, won three Super Bowls in four years, that's got to be number one. But right behind that is the evolving and how uh, we have, with the help of my daughter Charlotte, how we have taken the, uh, uh, the, the real affinity of the team, the interest in the NFL, the interest in sport, and how we've taken that and on a specific time, Thanksgiving Day, and uh, done what we've done with the Salvation Army. Uh, uh, that has uh, uh, evolved into, well, it's raised well over incrementally a billion dollars by going to the whole nation, sometimes as much as 75 million people, and saying, hey, think about the volunteers, think about what happens putting the money in the Salvation Army. When I travel, I have as many people come up to me and say, thank you or what you do for the Salvation Army, and thank you what the Cowboys do for the Salvation Army, as I do go Cowboys.
I will go specifically to a disappointment early. Uh, I thought we had a chance to win three Super Bowls in a row. And uh, uh, we went out to Candlestick Park, San Francisco 49ers in the FC's championship game. Barry Switzer was our coach. Uh, and we got down three touchdowns before we even blinked. And we had the best team. And uh, I thought we had a chance to win three in a row. That was uh, as disappointing a game as I've been involved in. I was pretty disappointing when we went down to Houston uh, and the Houston Texans had their first professional game in that stadium. And uh, we played in that game before a half-thronged house of Cowboy yeah. fans as well and got beat. That was pretty disappointing as far as a game is concerned. I'll say this, Barry, one of the, maybe right there with all of it, has been to have had Tony Romo and to have had him as our quarterback uh, for the last 10, 11 years at a high level, although he's had a couple of years in there injured, and not have knocked on that door or gotten a Super Bowl uh, with Romo as quarterback. That's been, uh, that's been a pretty, that's going to uh, have been a disappointment. I think that, um, if anything, I've had a, uh, ex exaggerated, I've had a, uh, a large view of what the NFL and sports can be. I guess I got it because I ended up, when I got here, I paid more than anybody had ever paid to be in the NFL when I bought the Dallas Cowboys. But every sense of the way, I have always thought that it could be bigger than life, whether it be the television, whether it be stadia, whether it be the, uh, the, the uh, uh, interest in it with our fans. And so I've always had this large view. I asked John Madden one time. Uh, we were in a hotel room here in Los, Los Colinas after a cowboy game. And I said, John, if I just got this thing out of Kelter, I, I just think that uh, we have such an opportunity with this game, the visibility of the game prestige of the game, to do some great things. And he said, I don't believe you do. He said, I believe it's at that scale. I believe it can influence. Consequently, which I never expected to happen, uh, because of all of the interest, because of all the visibility, because of all the, of uh, everything that goes with the NFL, we, we are accountable for social issues. Uh, our players uh, bullying is one of the things that uh, we're expected to uh, address and use this asset we've got called the NFL. Certainly domestic violence. Uh, many social issues uh, we've been called upon to actually address and have answers for. Well, that's part of the responsibility. I've been a little surprised at that. We talked earlier about what the Cowboys look like financially. Right. I, I had to buy 13% of them from the FDIC, the government. They were America's team. They were owned by the government. But uh, uh, the, this, the, the business part did not work. And so uh, you had to look at it and look at the traditional ways, your tickets, certainly rights fees, but you had to look for other ways. Uh, no, I didn't fashion myself as some great marketer, but I got interested in marketing when I bought the Dallas Cowboys. And so, uh, yes, uh, uh, you say, uh, Stadia, Stadia. Uh, we looked uh, at Stadia, we've been involved in Stadia, but when I looked at what we had a chance to do and the times we were in, uh, then the Stadia, it, it just was there. We could do something like the center-hung uh, digital board that's out there and do something like the size of the stadium. Stadiums were actually downsizing right. when we built AT&T Stadium. And we went the other way. And by the way, we went the other way when uh, we were in some of the worst economic conditions this country had ever seen. We'd actually had Lehman Brothers fail in New York and bring the financial house down, so to speak. And rather than pull back, we expanded. And uh, my motto during that time was, we'll sell our way out of this. I'm, I'm not going to say nervous. I'm, uh, uh, it's it's uh, like when you're looking ahead at an upcoming game uh, in the playoffs. 
uh, you, you certainly know nothing is given. It's such an honor. Uh, but in particular, what it is, is uh, 27 years ago, I got a chance to be a part of the Dallas Cowboys, the NFL. Never dreamed. Couldn't have imagined that could go through and have some of the experiences, positive. Sure trying, sure got criticized, but have some of the positive experiences we've had over the last 27 years. And then to, on top of that, possibly get a, a recognition or a pat on the back, it just seems uh, too good to be real. I know that uh, uh, it's such an honor to have been recognized and such an honor to have been nominated. Uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, flattering uh, to be in a discussion like this or any discussion about it. So I don't know that the word is disappointment. I just know that uh, it uh, feels good to be in consideration.